The PC is known for having the best gaming hardware on the market. While it may cost you a bit to acquire, well, the GPUs available to PC gamers is far above anything available on the PlayStation or Xbox. But what games take advantage of this power the most? Welcome everybody, Chaos here. Today we're gonna to be looking at some of the most beautiful graphics available on the PC right now. Now keep in mind, some of these games will be multi-platform, but others will be games that you can only experience on your PC. Also keep in mind that YouTube compresses video files, so the gameplay you see here probably isn't nearly as pretty as what you'd see if you could be playing the game and watching it in person. So be sure to let me know if you've actually seen any of these games for yourself. Drop a like, and if you're a graphics person, you are going to love this video. The first one up is Control. Released in 2019, it was a third-person action game, and it made waves. I mean, the interesting story, engaging gameplay, but it really started spreading around the internet once people realized how beautiful it was. It was a spinoff of the cult classic Alan Wake, and it features a fictionalized version of the SCP Foundation. And you play as the company's new director, and you're attempting to shut down any possible threats to reality. You get some pretty awesome powers along the way. It's a solid game and very, very visually appealing on console, but it is stunning on PC. All the particle effects, the ray tracing, it can all be cranked up even further. It's no surprise this game won so many awards when it came out. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. The latest version of the long-running flight simulator franchise. It was released on PC in August of last year, then it was later ported to the X, albeit a bit scaled back. The PC version? Man, I don't even know where to go with this. The environments are lifelike. The plane models are amazing. The gameplay can be tough to get the hang of, but I think that's the point. It absolutely exploded in the PC community. I mean, it, it just did. Everybody was stuck in lockdown and they just flew around the world. The replay value's endless. There's just something relaxing about flying around these amazing landscapes and learning a thing or two about air travel along the way. Resident Evil 2 The Remake, released in 2019 as well. This game kicked off Capcom's recent trend of remaking their classic titles, hands down a win. Now, a couple Resident Evil games have come out since RE2. The environment design and character models, though, it's, it's a step up. It's, it's at the top. Wandering around the decrepit police station while hiding from absolutely terrifying zombies. The lighting, the texture quality, the small scale setting. It makes it feel intimate and realistic. It just, it does even more than RE3 and Village. Despite being three years old, it's still one of the best looking games on the market. You'll be terrified just walking around the game world right now. Half-Life Alex. At the time that Alex was announced, Half-Life had been on the shelf for 15 years. And while it wasn't Half-Life 3, it was the next best thing. The VR shooter takes place in between 1 and 2, and you play as the characters you try to stop the alien combine from obtaining the super weapon. The gameplay, it blends. Shooting, puzzle solving, survival horror, iconic gravity gun, gravity gloves. I mean, it was cool. It's pretty awesome to experience in VR, but since it's on a list of the best looking games, I need to mention the fact that this game looks incredible. Everything falls in line with the art style of Half-Life 2, but with an added level of realism to your character models. The lighting, the environment, the design. If you have a VR headset and you haven't, you need to go try out Half-Life Alex. Far Cry 5. Another case of a game that has a sequel, but still looks better by modern standards in my opinion. Unlike all the other Far Cry games, 5 takes place in a fictional town in Montana, meaning you get to explore the gorgeous mountain ranges and forests while going from place to place and liberating each district one by one. The game dropped in 2018. It's often called one of the best games in the series for multiple reasons. The satisfying gameplay loop, the visuals, a great story going on in the background. I mean, the ending may have left you a little broken up or at least bummed out in a good way, but whew, Far Cry 5 is hands down the best Far Cry game available on modern consoles. And if you're looking for some absolutely stunning eye candy, pick it up on PC. It runs beautifully. And if you have a 20 series GPU or better, you're going to be happy. Red Dead Redemption 2. You probably expected to see this game on the list, and you are right. Dropped in 2018 and the PC the following year, and it pushed the consoles to their limits. The PC version, whew, if you thought the game was beautiful on PS4 and the Xbox One, man, go to PC with maxed out settings if you can. Everything is perfect. And thanks to Rockstar's dedication to making the animations as realistic as possible, the whole thing truly feels like a Wild West simulator. So people talk bad about RDR2's moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. I get it. But if you're looking for a beautiful, immersive experience and a great story, uh, this is one of the best. To this day right now, the visual team for GTA 6 has some huge shoes to fool. Star Wars Squadrons. I bet every one of you forgot about this game. I did. When you think of beautiful Star Wars games, you think of the two rebooted Battlefront games. But honestly, Squadrons is the best looking of them all. 
Released in 2020, Space Combat, all about piloting the iconic ships and taking down enemy players. Now, there's a wide variety of ships. The Galactic Empire, the New Republic Navy, everything has been modeled to an insane degree. The game was developed by Motive Studios, who were responsible for Space Combat Battlefront 2, and since it was all built on the Frostbite 3 engine, it looks perfect. Basically, take the attention to detail from Battlefront 2, crank it up every way you could. I mean, I know Space Combat games aren't everybody's cup of tea, but, I mean, if you want to immerse yourself like you're an actual Star Wars pilot and you have a high-end PC, have at it. Forza Horizon 5. Now, Forza is already known for having absurdly good visuals, and while there's a new game in development, it's going to have a very, very high bar to clear thanks to the last entry. I mean, Horizon 5 was, it was almost perfect. Launched for the Xbox and the PC, but the latter versions looked way better. That's not to say the Xbox version looked bad, but the PC version is truly something else. Open World Racing takes place in a fictionalized version of Mexico, and if you know what the series is all about, you already know. Amazing weather effects, lifelike car models, animations, incredibly detailed environments, you know the drill. It is a must-play for anybody who likes cars and eye candy. Battlefield 5. Now, Battlefield 2042 may have came out recently but the numerous bugs and design oversights killed the immersion. Plus, there's just something about Battlefield 2042 that looks, li rest it looks less realistic than its predecessors. I can't put my finger on it. Battlefield 5, on the other hand, probably one of the best-looking World War II games ever made. I it is. Released five years ago almost, the game was heavily criticized upon release for its gameplay issues and missing content, but the visuals held up from day one, and they only got better with updates from the developers and the improved PC graphics tech. BF5's environments and models look amazing. It's the lighting, it's the particle effects. DICE may be struggling to make a good game, but they never have a problem with the visual side of any game. I mean, they really don't. I think this is the most realistic looking game they've ever made. And it's a shame, uh, it's, it's a shame because it was released in a bad state, but since then it's made a good name for itself and it's an alternative to BF2042. Hell Let Loose. Speaking of World War II games, this one's picking up a lot of steam on both PC and console, largely as an alternative to Battlefield. The gameplay merges FPS and RTS to create this really unique multiplayer conquest, and the visuals, they're nothing short of amazing. Now, the environments are photorealistic. All the maps are based on actual conflicts from the Second World War to just add another level of realism to it. Since its initial release on the PC, it's been ported to the X and the PS5. But if you want to see the game at peak visual potential, play it on a high-end PC. It's one of the most immersive games I've ever seen, and I can definitely see it continuing to grow exponentially with the kind of funding and word of mouth that it's been getting. Now we're in the top five. Shadow of the Tomb Raider uh, has to be on there, right? It was seen by many as the weakest in the reboot trilogy, but not by looks. Quite the opposite. Despite having gameplay and storytelling that was a step below the other two, Shadow of the Tomb Raider was far and away the most beautiful, and frankly, it might be one of the best looking single player games I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot. Every little detail of the characters, every little detail of the game world, it was modeled to perfection. I can't imagine how much time was actually put in into making the lighting and particle effects as realistic as possible. When you're playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider on a high-end PC with maxed out settings, you'd be forgiven for mistaking it for a live-action movie. I'm serious. It truly does look that good. Escape from Tarkov. Now, despite being a multiplayer game made by a rather small team... It's one of the best looking PC exclusives on the market today. Multiplayer games usually don't mind dropping the graphics down a bit in order to get more people into the fray, but not Escape from Tarkov. They spared no expense. They made everything look as lifelike as possible, which fits in perfectly with the intense tone and the high stakes gameplay. The war torn world that you're exploring looks eerily realistic, and the character models and animations are some of the best I've seen in a multiplayer shooter. Now, as the game gets more popular and the devs get more funding, the game is just going to continue getting graphical updates, and I'm here for it. It already looks amazing, so imagine another year or two. The Witcher 3. Easily one of the most beautiful games ever made. Dropped in 2015. I mean, come on. The story and the gameplay are top-notch. That's not what this list is about. We're talking about visuals, and those are flawless. The game's seven years old. You venture across the, myth or the mythological version of Poland, I think. You bring the ancient folklore and the culture to life, the character models, the animations, everything, the weather, the day and night cycles. I mean, the long-awaited next-gen patch is set to drop in a few months, and that's just going to make everything look even better with the implementation of ray tracing and improved texture. So if you've been waiting for a good time to replay The Witcher 3 or play it for the first time, uh, it's coming. Ready or not. Released in early access last year after a long wait, it's kind of a spiritual successor to the SWAT franchise, and aside from having some of the best tactical FPS gameplay in gaming history, it's breathtaking. 
It was designed to be as realistic as you can get, and that's part of why development has taken so long. Void Interactive knocked it out of the park with the game, and it's definitely one of the most realistic PC exclusives on the market. Heck, it's probably in the top three in that regard. The game plays intense. One mistake means death of your, I mean, it could mean the death of your character, but at least you're going to have some absolutely mind-boggling graphics to look at in the meantime. And at number one, it's crazy to say it, Arma 3. It's a technical marvel. It launched, what, seven, eight, nine years ago? And it still looks incredible by modern standards, and there are still thousands of mods available, and the community is keeping it alive. Certain aspects look a tad dated, I know, but when you consider it's coming up on its 10-year anniversary, I think it's worthy of the spot. The community has done their best to keep this game alive, and they're doing it. It's one of the most popular multiplayer shooters on Steam. I mean, it is. Don't be fooled by its age. Armor 3 looks amazing and has endless hours worth of content, both from the developers and the community members. I think it's a good way to wrap up this list. Let me know one game that looks absolutely stunning that we forgot, and I'll see you soon.